Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Back at the start again. Welcome, welcome to the start of the Vagrams Chance. Season 2. This is Minecraft 1710, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner. This is the Vagrams Chance mod pack. Now, the only thing that I have added into this extra... There's two things, actually. Better foliage. I have not included it because I submitted the pack and then realized that I could have actually gotten some gotten it added into the mod pack. So we will get that added in a later update to the mod pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to add that in, though, specifically because better foliage can have a negative side effect on people's frame rates. And I'm trying to make the Bakram's Chance mod pack as computer friendly as possible. So keep that in mind. Uh, you might it's very easy to add in yourself, though, since there's no real configuration for it in terms of item IDs, which really isn't a thing anymore, or biome IDs or enchantment IDs. You just basically drop it into the mods folder and then maybe tune some of the graphical settings, and you can even do that in-game. The only other thing I have is admin's command toolbox. I have not put that in the mod pack because I'm still testing it out to see how it's going to work. Might add it in for later versions. We'll see. I am going to get started. That's actually my... Uh, this is the mod pack that I use to do my Ender I.O. Four-part mod guide spotlight. That's the map for it. So, what I'm going to do is create new world. Let's do Season 2. Actually, let's abbreviate that. Season 2. Now, just in case something goes wrong, I actually do turn that on. Um... I'm using default world gen. I do not have biomes aplenty yet because if you go to the forum post for biomes aplenty, they state that there are some changes coming and using the current version, it might break in future versions. So I'm not using biomes aplenty just yet. It's not even considered stable, unfortunately. I considered using alternate terrain generation, but it was creating a little too much world gen lag. Um, I actually have a world key that I am going to be using I don't know if I've typed that in right I'm looking uh, yeah I think I typed it in right this is the key that I will be using once that you actually get the mod pack download when it comes out in the next in the next few weeks you can load up Vagram's Chance, start a world, and plug in this very same world seed. You can actually start on the same map that I am. Let's see where I end up. I actually did some world... Uh, some seed scouting. I was spawning random worlds, testing the actual mod pack. And if I would run across a good world, a good starting location, I'd make note of the seed. And... I would then proceed from there. Oh, I forgot to change something real quick. Draw coordinates large. Yeah, I like that better. It shows up better on cell phones. So here we are in the middle of a nice savanna. Um, we've got a couple of nice mountains right behind us to the south. To the north, that would be north. That way, there's a couple more. And I think if you see right there, that is a Thomcraft World Gen. And let's see if I can get a good perspective on this. I'm going to hop right up here. There's one right there, and uh, there's a tip top of another one right there. Yes, that is two Thomcraft uh, Obsidian altars right there next to each other. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I kept this, but the primary reason why I kept this, cows, pigs, and um, there are some chickens around here somewhere too. There's even sheep right there. So I have all, there's a chicken. I have all the different kinds of livestock I need. Now I've got better foliage plugged in because I love this mod. Just the nice soft Falling of leaves when you're standing under the trees. Really, really nice. This is a fruit tree. What is this? An apple tree. I'm actually going to keep that. 
I'm still figuring out. Let's turn that on. That can go on. Eh, it's probably fine for now. There we go. That's better. Okay. So this is spawn right here. Hop. I love these acacia trees. The wood that comes from them is dark and lovely. The only thing I really think I'm enamored with more than the acacia is the dark oak. It looks so nice. Now we should have, there we go, fast leaf decay on from random things. That's going to be very, very nice. And that tree is already cleared out. Did we get any saplings? No saplings, really? Oh, I have four in my inventory. Wow. If it was a snake, it would have bit me, as the saying goes. Let's get this one over here. And see what kind of fun we can get into. I'm very, very eager to get started for a lot of stuff in this actual world. I've got some ideas on things I want to build and directions that I want to go. It's going to be a lot of creative, kind of, uh, well, like decorative, a lot of um, stylizing and stuff like that. So, let's see. Oh, I actually want to make sure... No. I want to be in utility mode. What is... I always forget this. There we go. And then... I do actually use the turn delete mode. I use delete mode. Um, on and off. These are gardens, by the way. If you're wondering what the heck I'm smashing here. These are actually gardens from Pam's Harvest Craft. They net you some food for early game, which is very, very wonderful. Herb garden. Probably not going to worry about some of those. Uh, we have some fruit trees. There shouldn't be a crazy amount of them. We have some fruit trees, but uh, I don't want to chop down or worry about the fruit trees yet because the fruit needs time to actually mature. The herb gardens uh, are good, but they're good for later. Let's see. Ground garden? I can't remember what that gives. Stock garden. Grass garden. Okay. And you'll see, you can fill up your inventory very, very quickly. Whoopsie. Let's put that back. All of this stuff is actually going to be very, very useful. We've got sheep. Let's see. That is herb. Not going to mess with that. So much tall grass. <laughs> Leafy garden. Ugh, Brussels sprouts, scallions, and leeks. Gross. But all of this is food that we're going to be using during our start. Yeah, we got some chickens and some sheep over here in this direction. I'll tell you what. I've got some wood. Make myself crafting table. And let's see if we can make us, uh, we're going to want to do, what, what the heck is that? Okay, there we go. Do an axe first. Going to want to do one of those. Then, do one of those. We now... Excuse me, Mr. Sheep. I'm going to have to reclaim this. Thank you. Oh, there's one thing that I'm actually going to show you guys about. I think this is basically spawn right here. What I'm actually going to do, this is why I'm using, and long-term why I want to include, um, Admin's Command Toolbox by Professor Mobius. ACT is what it's also known as. There is a pregen world. Uh, cap uh, set of commands. You can pre-generate 
a part of the world, so you don't have to worry about world gen later. So you don't have to worry about how much lag you're getting. So what you can actually do is pre-gen spawn. Let's say I want to do 50 chunks out in all directions from spawn. That's going to be a really big area. And if I hit this, it's going to start pre-genning spawn, and the game is going to act as if it's freezing up very, very quickly. I highly recommend that you do this, because there is, right now, under Forge, some world gen lag for 1710. It's unavoidable, they are working to correct it, but right now, it's just, it, it's, it's a thing. Unfortunately. So, I'm going to hit this, and you're going to see pre-generating for Dimension Zero, that's the overworld, and it's going to go through this. I'm actually going to let this finish, and I'll get you back to you guys as soon as it's done. Be right back. Okay, so here's what we've got. You'll notice 10,201 chunks pre-generated in just under two minutes. That is Professor Mobius and his genius at work. Now, I'm actually going to save, reload the world, so I'll be right back again. Okay, and we are back. I've got a tree that I thought I cleared. But apparently I did not. So many saplings. Now, we are going to be planting some of these saplings. Yes, to be sure. However, this is just an oak tree. I don't see any fruit. And I actually want to get some saplings for this. Just like that. There we go. So that one is down. I'm going to replant that. So much tall grass in this area. Good grief. Now, you see we have Pam's Harvest Craft. There are these wonderful plums over here. I think we have an apple tree over here. I think, uh, yep, that's an apple tree. Now, before I forget, spawn. A world. There we go. So I now have a world that has been pre-generated in all four compass directions, out to 50 chunks. That is a 10,000 chunk area total. So I have a lot of space, a lot of world to play in. Uh, ground garden, yes, please. So now we need to start looking. It is evening time. There's a plum. We need to start looking at shelter options. Because nightfall is going to hit very, very quickly. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to actually put that right there. Let's see. I've got... Whoop. I'm going to need some more. Hi, can I help you? I was actually busy. I don't know if you noticed this. So, right now, I'm going to construct what I best know to refer to as the stilt. I'm going to actually... Let's do that there. And this is going to be our new little temporary home above the savannah. This will probably last us a night or two. And that's going to be about it. We'll have to see. Basically, this is going to be our home while we look for a more permanent one. Uh, let's see, let's see. 
get some separation between us and the bad guys. Now, let's see. And there is a method to my madness. Now, I have a cat going quietly bonkers in the background. I apologize for any strange noises you might hear. Things are going to be very, very interesting here. I've got some ideas, some plans. Let's see, I need I have one crafting table at the bottom of the structure to use. I'm actually going to put one there, redo the ladder on the side, and this is going to be our base of operations for now. Now I have a ton of food Actually, it's not food. It's not food either. Um, I have a ton of food to work with for now. Uh, and... Get one and put it there. That's going to be some of the miscellaneous things. Now, do I see any bad guys? Where are all the bad guys? I see a cow and a few sheep. There's enough sheep. I'm going to see if I can find one. Oh, spiders. A lot of spiders. Oh, a whole lot of spiders. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Now, let's see. The stilt is over here. I was blown up by a creeper. Nope. You are not. Run! Oh, the fun of first night. Let's see if we can get ourselves another set of tools real quick. Ooh, that'll do just nicely. Like that. No chicken. Now, here's the great part about this setup. You just hold shift and sit on the ladder. Now, somewhere over here... It's my gravestone. Get all of our wonderful things. Hi, yes, no, I'm not interested. Go away. There's a lot of spiders out here. Aha, there we go. Whoop, more creepers. Run, run, run. Yes. Now, I have a specific setting in the mod pack for... Let's see if we can get some music going here. Don't know if we're going to be able to hear that or not. Oh, there's some experience down there. Bummer. I have some specific settings in the mod pack for the dropping of clay. Crafting clay, to be honest. This stuff is specifically for... Ooh, an oat seed. That's good. Um, let's see, potato. I wanted more of that. Can I? I can. I still need more. But... I'll tell you what. Get that and combine it. I'm going to put that up there. Put those up there. When it comes to daylight, 
Oh. I need nourishment. Silly me. Okay, I've got a lot of those. Yeah. Most of the actual starter food for a Vamps Harvest Craft only fills about half a half a uh, chicken leg on your hunger bar. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but well, it's not a lot. It's pretty much the bare minimum that food can can give you. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a problem. Once we actually get a little bit of resources, which means uh, spare wood. Yeah, come here. Well, I wanted to try and kill you, but whatever. Good enough. Let's see. I'm seeing... Oh, that's a big hole. Wow. Whoop. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. This is where a nice obstacle comes in handy. Oh, hi. Yes, yes. Let's see what kind of spoils we have. And the sun arises just in time. Actually, going to put you in there. Get all of my clay out. I might not actually need the wool anymore. We're going to need to be saving these long term. We're going to be using that as a power source in Ender IO. I'll get more to that later. Now I got to remember. Oh, uh, let's see. Bed. We actually have a lot of options for beds. Um, no, I'm gonna, uh, uh, let's see. I do not have enough of that. I'm going to worry about that later. The Beds in DecoCraft. DecoCraft is a really cool mod that I'm definitely liking. And um, the Beds in DecoCraft are actually functional, which makes me very, very happy. Come here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm seeing, let's get up to the actual, the stilt, uh, creeper over there. So I'm seeing, up. Oh, you can see that second ruins right there, the second uh, Thomcrafter ruins. Number two is right there, number one's right there, but you have to remember, there's a wisp spawner underneath those. At least there should be. This is four craft four. I mean, Thomcraft four point two point zero one or something like that. And uh, there should be some wisp spawners under there, which means we're gonna have to be very, very careful. I can also see an eerie biome over there, which means there's probably an obelisk we're gonna have to take out because it probably has a sinister node or something crazy in it. Everything looks pretty normal that direction. A couple of really good hills. If I remember right, there's a ravine right over there. We can go investigate that in a little bit. Um, that is what I want. Let's get one of those. And make ourselves a boring, ordinary bed. Uh, eh, well, that's fine. Put that in there. That in there, and we need to go get some resources. Post haste. Uh, before I forget, let's get rid of that death. What? Oh. Uh, I have something. Uh, let's see. Down here somewhere. All of those. Yay. Okay, so now... Overworld. Let's do... Home. For now. We have... Uh, Desperate need for hunger. 
to be filled. So what I'm actually going to do, I want to keep at least one of those to plant. I'm going to be eating raw onions for a little bit here. So, okay, here's thing, something I want to show you, right? We've got these different kinds of berries. All these different kinds of fruit in and vegetables and everything in Harvest Craft. You put it in a crafting table, crafting square, and you'll get a seed for it back. You can always do that. So what I want to do is keep at least a couple of kinds of berries. Candle berries is not actually a food. It makes wax. And that is important for some uh, different kinds of food later. So we have some seeds. Blueberry seed, raspberry seed, candleberry seeds. If we get one kind of berry, then what we can actually do... Oh, mandrake seeds for witchery. Ooh. Um, oh, you know what? Coffee is very important to me. Anybody will tell you this. So I'm going to make some coffee bean seeds. There we go. This is bare minimum nutrients right now, but we will get more. It'll be fine. Right now, what I actually want to do... Let's see. I believe over here... Pick up some more food on the way. Our acacia trees have not grown yet, but they will. Let me think. Somewhere over here. Yep, here it is. Oh, there's a garden right behind it. Nice big ravine. So this is actually probably going to be where we're going to do most of our mining. Grass garden, herb garden. I like to hit the same kind, or maybe two of the same kind, a lot. Because each different kind gives you, usually, similar stuff. So, you see, you can fill up on a lot of little bits of food very, very quickly here. The task for now is going to be, let's see... clear out some of these blocks. You'll notice that uh, better foliage actually does the grass going down the side of a grass block, which I actually kind of like. I miss that. Optifine does that, but Optifine is so incompatible with so many things that you just can't use it. So I'm actually going to hollow out a little bit of a space right here. It's going to take me a few minutes, but it's going to be boring. I will be right back with you guys after I make some digging progress and find myself a ravine. Be right back. Okay. I am heading back to the stilt to get some of the final, I guess you could say, possessions from it. Now, what I'm actually doing is I'm building a house that is closer Oh, gosh, I forgot this was here. All, all this food. Oh, man. Basically, I'm getting a house that is closer to the mines where I'm going to be working. I'm going to need a new axe. I can tell, me, tell you that already. Let's put that there, that there. And I have a spare axe after this one goes bust. I just realized I made a wood axe and I have cobblestone on me. That's not smart. I'm going to dismantle our first night house. There we go. Axe switch. And we're going to make a nice 11 by 11 over in front of the actual mines. This way we're not going to be walking constantly back and forth. And we'll have more space, a real house to actually work from. Now, I've literally just made the outline frame. I haven't even put the floors down yet. But I'm going to chop all of this up and pick it all up. It should take me less than five minutes total, I think. Uh, 
Uh, five minutes is the actual timer when something drops onto the ground before it disappears. And I've just got a lot of wood sitting down there that I don't want to vanish. But it's not taking me that long. A couple of minutes. Tops. And we'll go downstairs and get everything picked up in time. So much wood. Wow, okay. Now, I don't want to do too much of this kind of activity. Because mining is going to take up a lot of it. Now, I can already tell... I have no space for the ladder, so I'm just going to eat myself some room. And see if I can grab everything here. I think that is all the wood. And now we head down here south of spawn. And this will be a bit better. We can put a side garden stretching out that way that we can fence off. Have a nice front door right here. And even a basement of some kind if we want to. I've got piers under the actual wall that I'm going to put wooden fencing in between. I think that'll look real nice. And uh, it'll kind of, uh, you know, make it look like a stilt home from down here in the south. Uh, when they put houses up on piers a lot of times, you'll actually see some lattice work. in between the actual piers keeping the house up. Oh, I actually, you know what I'm... I'm uh, causing problems right now. I need to uh, get all of this stuff out of my inventory. Just got one big chest now. Then we're going to dump almost everything into. Now let's go pick that dirt back up. I actually want it to step down, so I'm going to clear out all this area right here down to this level that I'm on. And uh, that way the gardens will be down from the house, but I think that's going to be a good thing. We... Put that right there. Can fill this out a little bit because I actually don't mind this being hidden over here on this side and being level with the house. There we go. Good enough. So this is what I have for a mine right now. Yeah, that's, that's literally all I've done so far. I'm fixing to break some things here. Get a little bit more... Cobblestone, and I think I put up the rest of it up here, I hope. Here we go. I'm going to get a crafting table. I always like using these things for a uh, kind of a, a floor piece, I guess you could say. I think it's really cool. Um... And I need to make at least two of these. Those actually do stack. Let's see. We'll make that the stove corner. There's going to be a floor under those eventually. And what we actually want to do, we have a whole bunch of saplings that we have saved. The oak saplings I'm saving for another purpose that I will get to later. We have some acacia saplings. And we have some spare logs. What I'm actually going to do... Put those in there. And... Let's see... Crusher, imbuing station, the vat, the enchanter... Okay, yeah, I have to turn those into patchwork flesh first, and I don't have enough. Boo. Let's sort that. Okay. I think we are fixing to have whoa, nightfall here. 
So for now, just going to give us some walls and I'm making us some charcoal so we can put some torches up inside. There we go, four charcoal. Oops. Four sticks, four charcoal. Hey, come here. Now let's do one there, one there. And I'm gonna have to put that one a little higher up. But we'll figure that out later. Then I'm actually going to stake out around the house just a little bit and give us a little bit of a buffer safety zone. Let's put that up there. That, nope, I don't like that. There we go. That looks better. Okay. And then, of course, we are going to need to let's just alternate as we go down. And this is going to be night number two. Hopefully, we won't have any more deaths. But we will have to see. In 1.8, there's going to be a different door for Acacia Wood. That's going to be nice. Actually, you know what? Let's just sleep here. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more mining to get some stone so I can get... Hi there! How are you? Yeah, okay. I want to get some stone and cover it down here for a stone floor. I'm probably going to see if I can get some iron to actually ooh, make a uh, chisel also so we can do some chiseled stone patterns and put a really nice floor down. I think that's going to be great. Now, I am very actually, I'm actually very conscientious of killing monsters in this mod pack. I cannot go passive. I cannot just sit back. I do actually have to kill monsters for that for a lot of reasons in here. By the way, I don't know if you can hear. There is the glub glub of lava. Yeah. Um, a... a First of all, there's a lot of stuff that I actually want to make in DecoCraft. In DecoCraft, this stuff I have it set in the mod pack to only drop. I can't make it, which means I have to get out and kill monsters in order to be able to make some of the really cool props. This means mob farms are definitely going to be in our future. Um, I also need leather, and I don't want to kill all of my cows. I actually want to see if I can maybe herd some over here somehow and uh, start a, cow, start a uh, cow pen. Maybe some... Chicken, also. Maybe make a chicken coop in the next couple of episodes. Stuff like that, we'll see. <coughs> but, I do realize, I firmly realize that this is going to be probably a bit of a boring starting episode. But, the first episodes always are. Now, before we finish, I wanted to real quick go over some of the mods that we've actually got in this. Now, we have Aroma Core. But this ties into better chests. I don't actually think there's anything in this. Oh, aromic hammer, and that's something else. Um, the better chest is, looks like it's going to be a really great mod. We do have iron chests also, but better chest is a mod more for purpose and functionality than it is just a chest with more space. You can make chests that are cobble generators. You can make chests that uh, act as furnaces. You can turn chests into backpacks that automatically collect stuff. It's really nice. Um, Bibliocraft, of course, Blood Magic. I'm really looking forward to getting into that and some of the new features that's been added to that. Uh, we do have Buildcraft, as you can see by all this stuff. Baubles. It ties into several mods, actually. The making of jewelry. Carpenter's blocks and chisel wouldn't go anywhere without them. We've got 
Crafting Pillars. Now, I'm going to warn you guys, there is one bug, known bug, in Crafting Pillars right now. It's a crash bug that relates to the Sentry Pillar, the one that shoots arrows or projectiles at bad guys. Don't use it until further notice. Now, by the time this episode comes out, this problem might have been solved, but for the most part, do not use the Sentry Pillar from Crafting Pillars. The whole rest of the mod is fine. Just don't use the Sentry Pillar. We've got DecoCraft, which has a ton of amazing decorative and some functional stuff. Like some of the beds in here are functional. Uh, we've got uh, dimensional anchors. This is going to be used for our chunk loading. Dimensional storage, an amazing chest that you can actually use. We do also have ender storage, but this is going to play a big part in a lot of ideas I've got going on too. The easy crafting table. It easy also has an auto crafting table. This is going to be the center of our crafting experience long game. And I think you guys are going to like it. Ender IO, we've got in Ender Utilities, which is a lot of great stuff. The Golden Lasso that I know you're familiar with from uh, Extra Utilities. Well, the Ender Utilities has an Ender Lasso. You set a physical target and anything you lasso with that goes to that target. It teleports, which is very cool. You can do the same thing with the Ender Bow and Ender Arrows, too. It's a very neat... We've got, of course, Ender Storage, which is going to be our cross-dimensional, one of our probably go-to cross-dimensional storage solutions for fluid. Maybe for items, we'll see. Um, let's see. Extra utilities, of course. We've got uh, Findus Phillies, because I've actually been in a place where I had no cows, only horses. <laughs> um, uh, Flax Beard Steam Power. This has got some lot of new features added into it, and I can't wait to get into this early game. I think you guys are going to be really, really happy with some of the changes I've made to uh, the Rock Smasher. The Rock Smasher is now early game, two times, or doubling, which is really nice. And we'll get into that. It's going to be real, real nice, real useful. Um, Iron Chests, of course, Jabba. Liquid Dirt, which is a mod suggestion of mine that's been made real by Ace5852. There's Mechanism in all of its form. With this Minecraft weirdness. Uh, minions, which I'm going to be using, definitely. Uh, we have Nether Ore in this mod. Now, it's not Metallurgy. It's not weird. It's normal ore. But we do have actual Nether Ores installed. Um, uh, by the way, ore does not explode. But the pigmen do still get mad. So be aware of that one. Be careful when you're mining in the Nether. It might not explode in your face, but the pigmen will still get pissed at you if you go... If you go uh, mining in the nether so open blocks pam's harvest craft a lot of deep stuff in this mod and it's very new to me i'm very very surprised to be dealing with it it's very cool i can't wait to get into some of it this is going to be our primary food source you can very easily make food in pam's harvest craft that gives you like six chicken legs six full chicken legs on your hunger bar yeah that's six ticks on your hunger bar not six Hunger, which would be three bars. This is actually six bars, which would be, what, 12 hunger? And it's got amazing saturation for some of the higher foods. It's really good, really worth it. So that means we'll be eating better, and we'll be eating less often, which I'm very happy about. We've got Project Red. Random things, refined relocation. We've got Ropes Plus by Atomic Striker. This is going to be very, very useful, very utilitarian mod. I can't wait to get into. Simply Jetpacks. I'm very eager about this one. This is a jet plate. Okay, that's new. I don't know what that is. Oh, Flux Infused. This is actually a Thomcraft tie-in. That's interesting. Okay, I think it is. Statues, which I'm going to be using quite a bit. Um, We've got Steve's Carts, Steve's Factory Manager, Steve's Workshop. This is going to be very useful early game, and you guys will see why. Stop Gap, which is great. This is a great way to make either Redstone or glowstone early game if you don't have it and it's you make a red a red ingot which is basically made from red mixture which is this stuff so you are using rose red and iron but it's a way to make some red some redstone real quickly if you absolutely need some and you just don't want to go mining you can do the same thing for glowstone too um witchery tubes we've got thomcraft thomic tinkerer Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest is going to be one of our kind of uh, adventure sides to the whole mod pack. Later on, when it gets updated, I'm going to be adding Erebus, and that is going to be endgame adventure. You'll like that a lot. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of content in this mod pack, and a lot of things I'm looking forward to. 
Uh, I really do hope that you guys are liking and embracing the idea of casual fun. That's what the mod pack is going to be about. That's really what it's going to focus on. So I can't wait for you guys to be with me on this ride. I just realized I'm slowly starving to death. Uh, okay. I'm going to quietly munch on some aspar asparagus. And I will see you folks in the next episode of Vagrant's Chance Season 2. Bye-bye. Thank you.